Alright people, what's going on? Space Cowboy here. Welcome back to the channel. Got another video for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure to hit that like button. It's been helping out the channel a lot and I've been noticing that. Also, if you continue to enjoy the content, please hit the subscribe button. I know it sounds annoying for me to say it, but 95% of you guys that are watching the content aren't subscribed. So if you're enjoying the content and you keep coming back, just hit the subscribe button so that you get that content coming into your feed. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new content or go live. I'll make sure it's set to all, just to make sure that you get that. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's get into today's video. So, the 2021 free agency class for the Cowboys early look. Obviously, you know, we're way, uh, you know, away from that. Um, but time will fly and we will get there. Now, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, but... Looking at this list, it doesn't look as super problematic as last year's, mainly due to the fact that we pretty much got unlocked some of the guys that we wanted to keep, and we really decided on what we're going to do going forward. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to pay attention to who's on this list. Um, there are some important key people to keep in mind, and we'll see what happens. So, here they are. Dak Prescott was the number one guy up there, but I kind of cut him off. There are 30 players on this list, so Dak's on this list. Um, then there are two that were cut off because I couldn't get the full list. The other two were at the very bottom, which we'll get to. Um, so Dak Prescott, he, you know, obviously he's franchise tech. He's going to get his deal. Tyrone Crawford and Sean Lee, your, you know, your veterans on your defense. I think Tyrone has a a slight chance of coming back but the only way he's coming back is out of definitely reduced salary i don't see you know if, if he's looking for that nine million a year or like that upwards of that he's not going to get it here in dallas so i can definitely see him going the sean lee route where he's getting a less salary and playing that rotational role um sean lee this is probably his last year going through a couple now uh clinton dix dalton Worley, irvin Ju jolini those are like basically your backup slash starters if need be situations you know Cameron Irving's your swing tackle as of right now Joe Looney's your starting center until otherwise you know whether it be uh, McGovern or uh, uh, Tyler that steps in to take his role you have Blake Bell Maurice Candy Joe Thomas Kai Forbath LP um, so you have a bunch of rotational backups or key contributors in terms of like special teams so like lp you have joe thomas you have a couple other guys in there and then obviously you know there's alden smith but you know so for the most part the biggest chunk and usually a big chunk of your free agents are one-year deals or backups and stuff like that so that's kind of to be expected um now we get into kind of the meat and potatoes of these guys and that is uh, chidobe and um jordan lewis are on this list those guys are definitely things to keep an eye out because um and also xavier woods i should mention as well mainly due to the fact that uh those guys are pretty much the okay we don't know if we're gonna bring them back or not but they could have a good year and they could be brought back at a you now i can't so we just paid anthony brown I can see the Cowboys paying one of these guys, but I do feel like out of the three of Woods, Lewis, and Awuzie, it really comes down to how the secondary fully looks. You know, I think that honestly, I think Jordan could possibly be the one that stays. I mean, I mean, hell, like, I think the Cowboys really um, position themselves quite nicely because, you know, you, you got to a cornerback and Trevon Diggs as your Byron Jones replacement in essence but you know this could probably line up the Cowboys to getting a defensive player in 2021 and then again we don't know what's going to happen like for all we know maybe the Cowboys need a another offensive lineman because certain ones didn't pan out or certain ones retired uh there could be a situation where we need to spend it on a tight end which I doubt but uh, you know, they're, they're, we don't know what's going to happen in 2021, but I do think that based off of the contracts that the Cowboys have put up, I do think the Cowboys in 2021 20, uh, will probably look to go into the draft and continue to build up the defense. And um, we'll see how it performs because at the end, you know, I think that's the biggest question mark is how is this defense going to look under a new scheme? You know, we've had our issues with the defensive schemes, you know, Chris Richard, him not teaching the guys or just basically doing the the stubborn approach of oh just 
why are you doing that? Um, and then there are a couple guys on here. Just <clears throat> The other two that aren't on the list are Wyatt Miller and uh, Antoine Woods. Now, Antoine's an interesting situation because I don't know if the Cowboys will bring him back. If I recall, he's still under that restricted free agent tag. Um, I don't know if he comes. A, I don't believe he becomes a um, a free an un, uh, an unrestricted free agent this year, but I think the following year, in twenty twenty two maybe. But looking at this list, I think that twenty twenty one is going to be. It, it's going to be a lot of turnover because of the one year deals and stuff like that. We don't know what's going to happen. I know Randy Gregory is on this list. Um, but the thing is, is his contract's in a state of flux because he's been suspended. And because, you've been, you know, because of that, like, it's basically like we don't know what's going to happen. So I can definitely see um, a couple. Most of these guys are probably going to end up walking. Um, and I think that, that we got to see how this year goes, right? Because... If this year goes in a situation where the defense plays well or the offense does so damn well that the defense only has to be middle of the pack, it calls a couple turnovers here and there to get... I mean, I really can see uh, the Cowboys' uh, defense doing just enough. And I think that's where, you know, look, your defense is going to win you your championships. But the key thing is, and, and this is something that I've kind of... No, you know, and especially with the Kansas City Chiefs in this instance, is... Your offense can definitely carry you, but at the end of the day, your defense needs to make a couple key plays in order for you know in order for you to win. Hence the phrase "defense wins championships." I think that uh, you know, the idea of you need a championship level defense of oh, you need to have like a, a Seahawks type of you know 2013 Seahawks type of thing. No, I think that the Cowboys can definitely they they don't need that to win a championship i just think they need to be better situationally and stuff like that but looking at this uh list of free agents i think the cowboys will be fine i think that this year this upcoming free agency class will be a hell of a lot more relaxed instead you know so we don't freak the hell out because you know especially since we you know last year we had amari cooper byron jones and since we kind of decided on what we're going to do and maybe we fill the holes that we need to fill in, the, in this year's draft, you know, next year, we could probably get a couple, for, you know, key guys. I understand that we signed um, Gerald McCoy on that defensive line, so we don't know what that's going to do with some of these other guys that maybe they want to bring back. I mean, but I just wanted to talk about that mainly due to the fact that, hey, this is what you're probably looking at in 2021. You're seeing a lot of backups, rotational pieces, maybe some key people here and there especially in the defensive side of the ball that's where most of these you know that's where most of this is going to affect is you know a lot of these picks you know especially the ones of note which should obey byron not byron excuse me jordan lewis and uh, xavier woods it's really going to be telling on what the cowboys do from there you know maybe they sign two of those guys back on cheap deals i could definitely see that happening with xavier and jordan the only reason I'm not putting Chidobe in that category is I don't know how they're going to use him, but mainly due to the fact that we don't know, you know, I think that it might be a buyer, you know, a, like I mentioned, uh, an Anthony Brown where he gets resigned on a cheaper deal because they can afford to do that. And, you know, hey, we just need one guy in there just, you know, as a solid starter or whatever the case may be. But I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you could, hit it with a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. Alrighty, guys. Peace out. Bye-bye. I used to live in sin cities like Bruce Willis, but I'm Jackie Chan, karate chopping, I'm still kicking. I used to be chopped and screwed, I'm little flipping. Now I'm nice, Mike Jordan, so who's pipping? I'm running, man, you the running man, you still slipping. I hit records, you swinging and still 